Something very exciting is happening today at Tesla Giga Berlin. All roads get asphalt right now, as also serve a local service service provider planning uh, says a service provider for Giga Berlin says planning of building technology for Tesla's German factory is in full swing. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time and would like to get daily Tesla news, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Our local friend Tobias Lind, who has been regularly sending uh, updates with Jürgen and Albrecht and with some other friends from Tesla Giga Berlin, um, last night tweeted a new pictures, uh, a set of new pictures uh, with, with some very interesting information. This is a new phase for Giga Berlin. He says, Tobias says, all roads get asphalt now. A few days ago, we saw just one road getting asphalt. Now, Tobias says that all roads are getting asphalt. I think this is a new phase for Giga Berlin. Berlin, asphalt road will bring already new type of cars, new type of machinery, new type of equipment. And as the shells are being ready of certain buildings, I think two buildings already have the roof. Now the uh, internal work will start and the internal equipment, heavy equipment to build Tesla's electric uh, cars, starting with Model Y electric crossover. This process will already start at Giga Berlin, I think, very soon. Uh, Tobias also has shared a picture that saying that new column uh, is brought for uh, paint shops, as you see. So yesterday from Jürgen's video, you remember that I showed that a train bringing lots of uh, 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 columns, uh, uh, pillars for the paint shop and also Tobias says that the topsoil in the north of Tesla Giga Berlin is getting removed and he says we already get a good view at the paint shop from the ground in the northeast and you are seeing these images on your screen. Uh, Tobias also has a short video uh, published at, uh, on his YouTube page and I have permission to share some of it with you and uh, Tobias says I wanted to do another view from the south of Giga Berlin but there was wind uh, the wind got worse and additionally uh, the brand new rear wheel on his bicycle went flat again sorry to hear about this Tobias hope you can resolve this very quick so the asphalt at Tesla Giga Berlin is a good news friends and uh, but there is also something else that I briefly mentioned yesterday. Uh, at the construction site for Tesla's European Gigafactory in Grünheide, like I said, piles are still being driven into the ground uh, in order to get a sufficiently solid foundation for the press shop. And in order, in, in other areas, workers continue to pull up walls and cover roofs, like I said, two roofs already. At the same time, however, the planning for the next step for the next phase of Tesla Giga Berlin has already began. The technical equipment of Tesla's new Giga factory inside the building. Okay, that's very important. A service provider from southern Germany who speaks of tight but feasible deadlines describes uh, itself as almost completely responsible for it. Um, uh, with the huge Tesla project near Berlin, like Tesla Giga Berlin, which is being pushed ahead in a hurry, some companies are becoming better known than until now were only known to construction uh, connoisseurs uh, like uh, Aricon, like Max Bogel. Uh, even since Tesla CEO Elon Musk publicly praised the high speed in Grünheide, high speed of construction of Tesla Giga Berlin at Grünheide, thanks to prefabricated concrete elements, uh, word got around who is delivering them. The Bavarian company Max Bogel. The family-run Goldbeck Group from Bielefeld is also expected to play an important role for Tesla German factory. Um, in fact, uh, about uh, 12 years ago, I used to go to Bielefeld very often, a beautiful, nice city in the northern part of Germany. And, um, and the next service provider now, uh, who now drew attention as of yesterday to its participation in Giga Berlin in a press release uh, is at least a company that has grown over time, uh, whose shares are completely in the hands of its management, according to its website. This is the planning group called MMAG. 
founded M plus M AG, founded in 1970 as a company under civil law. According to their announcement, the group was commissioned by Tesla to take over the planning of the technical building equipment in the German Gigafactory for almost all trades. Basically, this is the company that is going to bring the technology equipment inside the Gigafactory for almost all trades. Huh? Um, how do you understand almost all trades? I don't know. Are they going to do the um, buyings? Are they going to do the purchasing? Uh, if you know more details, friends, on this, please let me know in the comment section and uh, so we can know what this almost all trades means. Um, but Tesla has a uh, fast speed. Uh, this work is already in full, uh, in full swing as M plus M announced at the end of last week. At the moment, the plans for the body shop, assembly hall, press shop, energy center, as well as ancillary buildings and more are being drawn up and then passed on to the plant construction. The mention of the different factory areas almost sounds like it is about production technology. According to a spe uh, specialist portal, technical building equipment is to be understood as all permanently installed elements for buildings themselves. That means it includes everything from cables for electricity, gas or water to air conditioning and fire extinguishing systems, but not yet specific machines to production. You will certainly be able to hear from, from these companies soon. Um, what is important about these companies that we talk about, like uh, uh, construction companies or contractors for Tesla, is not that we're uh, directly interested in, uh, in construction uh, of building a factory, although we are somewhat are, and I've learned a great deal of information about how to build a company, uh, and, uh, yeah, a company from ground up leveling trees, uh, uh, felling trees, leveling uh, the ground, building the foundation, prefabric materials and so on. But also what's important that and the reason that I'm reporting is because when these companies, these construction companies, uh, they put out press release that they're working with Tesla, there are some little details that tell us what how things are going with Tesla's construction of Giga Berlin in this case. Huh? For example, this M plus M company says that the speed is full spring. It's in full spring. Um, swing and uh, that the deadlines are tight but they're confident they can do it so uh, mmm m plus uh, m plus m has already declared the collision free planning of the building technology for tesla to be a great challenge on its website especially since the deadlines are tight but that is a challenge that one is happy to face they say on their website well friends let me know what your thoughts are about these recent developments at Tesla Giga Berlin, especially what is exciting for me that all roads get asphalt now, which means that Giga Berlin is going to be looking more beautiful, more interesting, more pleasing for eyes. Columns are uh, going up in the paint shop and, uh, and the topsoil in the north is getting removed. Uh, thank you, Tobias, for all this information. Friends, uh, have a wonderful day. Look for my next report, next update about Giga Texas in uh, next to Austin, where there is a big news that the uh, width of the foundation is growing wider. But I will have the details after that, after this video. Thanks to our thanks to our friend uh, uh, Joe Tok Techmeyer, who has been sending us Giga Texas stories daily. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for daily Tesla news, and uh, I'll see you in our next report. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Also read our articles, please, at TorqueNews.com/Tesla. See you soon, friends.